All right, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for watching my second tutorial now. Uh, I promised we'll be getting into the code today and that's just what we're going to do. But at first, very most important thing is that you guys see my awesome background. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just awesome, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I just got it today and it's, it's just fucking awesome. Okay, so here we got the projects that we made with the GDX setup UI that you downloaded, I guess you remember it. And yeah, we imported these projects. As you can see, this has no suffix. This is for Android, desktop and HTML5. Uh, so this is where our main code goes. This is where we're going to be all the time. And we just need these two uh, few to actually deploy on the different platforms afterwards. So because this is uh, Java and Java runs on like every desktop uh, platform, we just have one desktop and not one for Windows, Mac, Linux and so on. So how does this actually work? Um, in the desktop, like we think, um, okay, so we want to uh, write a game for the desktop. Uh, so we go on the desktop project and write our stuff. No, that's not how it's going. Because you see when you go to properties that we s somewhere here we got project references exactly. And it's not in there. That's weird. But it's here. On the Java build path, uh, on the project tab, we see that the desktop project includes the normal project here. So that means it, it's like importing everything from here to here and that's the same for everything from here to here and from here to here. Uh, yeah, so pretty much all that we need in the desktop is just this one class. So what this does one... Well <coughs> okay, I should learn to speak. Uh, so what does this one class do? Well, you can see um, here in the main method, it makes a little configuration. Um, libgdx is using lightweight Java game library, LVGL. Um, it's actually used in pretty much everything uh, where OpenGL, uh, yeah, where OpenGL is used, because lightweight Java game library is like making OpenGL way easier to use, okay, so we are also going to use a little bit of it, just a little bit. Um, yeah, so you see we create a new LVGL, um, uh, okay, I always say LV, but it's actually LW, sorry. Anyway, we create a new LWJGL application and this takes a new black point 2. So what is that black point 2 actually? It's an application listener and configuration. We got that somewhere in here. Y yep, like this. Okay, ignore that. <laughs> but this application listener, you know, we look and like it's like nowhere. We just got this class. So where is it? Exactly in this project. And here we go, new black point 2. Um, uh, let's do it this way. Is it recording? Yeah. Okay. Um, this black point 2, it always, uh, our main class in here, always has to uh, extend the application listener. That's just pretty much what um, libgdx, like the libgdx guys, guys wrote in order to make everything work. It doesn't really matter. It provides some useful methods and stuff uh, you're gonna see. So let's actually start it for the first time here. Uh, yep. And there we go. So all it does right now is like display this nice little picture here. Uh, we can resize it and the picture gets resized as well and blah blah blah. Um, 
yeah, that's all. So at first we want to do some stuff. Uh, for example, we don't need that picture because in our application the picture is just it's just not needed. So we go to the assets folder, which as you can see on this little symbol here is linked to the assets folder in here. That means everything uh, as well as he well I don't know about how it's here but actually it doesn't really matter. Um, these two folders here they are linked together that means that whatever you do in here is also done in here. I can just show you that real quick. Uh, I'm going on the desktop and I say fuck that we don't need this stuff and it goes away in both of our projects so we don't have to care about the Android and just go in here all the time we could do it the other way but whatever so we don't need that picture but obviously the application won't work without the picture because it's trying to display it so we'll just delete like everything because we want to do something totally different anyway so fuck this uh, we don't need these two uh yeah let's just re oops let's remove these as well i'll explain that later and i want it to be like like that uh, okay so now what happens well no that would suck <laughs> at first you see this configuration that we pass in the constructor here um yeah we can set like the title let's let's go yeah let's actually at first say let's use OpenGL 2.0 the 20 stands for 2.0 so we say true that just gives us a whole lot more freedom what we do with our images uh, and how we display them and later for the lights it makes way of a difference the lights just look way better so we want the width to be 1080 times uh, 700 oops 720 because if it's full hd and it starts up it just takes up the whole screen in size so we don't want that um like this it's fine so yeah that's good now for the render method yeah i'll just explain like the life cycle uh, of this whole thing to you uh it's like that so at first this is done like i think you you got that already <laughs> and well it, it does in you it instantiates in you black point two and this is this so after that happens what at first is called is obviously the create method so yeah create that's uh, the name says it all in here it we can like set, for, uh, set up uh, yeah all the variables we'll be using like images and stuff we'll be uh, getting in here because that just happens once actually I can show you the okay wait just a moment okay uh, like I said actually I can show you um, in order what gets called when so that will make it clear to you uh, let's just use you know we, we could use this um, oops the system out print line but I'll just use that to introduce to you the static class GDX since this is libgdx they've got a class lib uh, just GDX uh, that's the name it's a static class and it pretty much provides us uh, direct access to all of these things uh, one of this is app pretty self-explanatory and this has a method called log uh, so we can give it a tag and a message uh, it's using a tag because on the where do we got it here oops log hat for Android it always has a tag and a text as well that's when you, you like connect uh, your Android device with the computer with a USB cable to be able to identify which application said that so let's give it a let's give yeah, let's actually do that properly 
We are we will be going here and we'll make public static final string name equals like yeah black point two uh and we'll make version that is at the moment o dot o dot o dot o dot really early or whatever um so we'll be using name actually let's call that title uh if you didn't know oops well okay i suck at my second tutorial but whatever the message is gonna be create because like that we see when the create is called and like we wanted to before we want to call that title uh, in case you didn't know in eclipse you can if you want to rename a variable and my ide gets done with it okay you can just use left alt shift r and that brings up this thing and yeah it just does all the refactoring for you pretty useful um, then another thing I can show you alt control and the arrows button down just copy set line then you can just hold alt and move it to like here for example uh, then control D deletes this line and bam there we go so here we say dispose here, oops, yeah, no, I didn't do my own trick. <laughs> uh, here we can say, like, render. No, fuck it. gdx.app.log title message is gonna be uh, resize. There are some parameters, but. I don't care. The pause. Oops. Pause. And the resume. GDX dot app dot log title resume. So that should make it clear what runs when. So another thing control uh, page up goes through the tabs as well as page down so let's start the application I just have really little time left so I have to hurry now sorry uh, well let's just close it immediately again you saw it was bigger than it was before because we said so right here yeah you get it uh, and then we got all this stuff create is called in the beginning then resize once we didn't resize the window but it has to be sized once so resize is called once in the beginning uh, then render all the time of course it might I mean uh, it updates and renders everything then I clicked on the X button so it paused everything from running and then it would call the dispose method that is just used to free the memory that we like took to in order to like m load music and load images and stuff uh, we just go like image dot this post later but of course it's not possible right now so that's it for now uh, I have no time left absolutely right now so just uh, be sure to check back tomorrow where we'll be doing some actual stuff <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed and yeah thanks for watching